hello and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. Today, we have a two-for-one special. This is Homage Tio by Skyrule. And as the title would suggest, this is a Hammer Editor homage to two of Tio's most highly rated test chambers. And if I'm not mistaken, that is how portal modders flirt, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, the first chamber of the two is Cerulean. I believe that's how you say it, and that is of course by Tio. It features, well, tubes that give us cubes, as per usual. The placing of those cubes upon tubes... I've said both of those the wrong way round, never mind. Use of conveyance beams and the possibility of dying to deadly, deadly laser beams. So yeah, this is two of Tio's chambers combined into one already very cool looking hammer to, uh, hammer, hammer edit, hammer editor tribute. And I've just seen it's got one of those things that I never know exactly what is, but to me that looks like a piece of the Skirbel, of the Kerbal space program. So let's see what we've got. We've got, we've got a button up above us. We've got... Well, there's our deadly, deadly lasers. It's got its own little uh, panel behind it. So we're not going to be going through there anytime soon. These look like panels. They are. They're very dirty, but they do work. We've got a button in the middle of the room, which is the conveyance beam. Oh, it's going that way. Uh, in here, here is the conveyance beam. Okay, is that actually... What is that doing with it? Is that reversing it? Uh, I think that's actually turning it on and off, but I can't quite tell. Uh, past the Fizzler, we also have another button, which is the Fizzler. Yeah, I like the style of this. I do like the wrecked aperture style a lot. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a button in here, which is... a cube. That comes tumbling down its own little tube into its own little caged-off area. It does have a portalable back wall and a portalable floor. For doing things like that. Um, what else? We got an elevator. Above the elevator is the exit, but that's probably the connection to the next chamber. That appears to be connected to its own button above. And it's a hammer map, so again, I'm going to be looking for any little gap that I might be able to, you know, shoot a portal through and go exploring. There's all these gaps everywhere. I actually saw a gap here. Yeah, there's actually a. Uh, there's a turret down there who's not having a great day, and a companion cube. It looked like they collided in the tube. That's cool, I love that little sort of detail. Oh, there's a whole lot of stuff out there as well. Ooh, stairs. Stairs that go somewhere? Stairs that maybe go somewhere, so we got to look out and... I'm trapped in the convention beam. we got to look out and see if there's actually a way to get out there. Um, we should probably start working out how to do the puzzle, right? So, you're an elevator, and we're going to need that, and you are connected to the first giant button up on the wall. So you're probably going to need a conveyance beam to send a cube to go press that button for me. And then, I'm guessing, get it up there as well at some point. Uh, let's get a cube first then, there's you. And I... I don't need you there. I've put you in a really awkward place by doing that, so let's uh, stick one there, which is pointless because I've got to go through here again. Right, that should get me a new cube that will land somewhere much easier to get, right? Yes, so you go there. And let's have you fly out of there. And we've been delivered our first cube. So we can actually see if this is reversing the conveyance beam or if it's turning it on and off. It is... Okay, that appears to actually turn the conveyance beam on and off. Uh, we're going to need to get that cube to come out of there and press that button. I like the signage there. Yeah, I really like the wrecked aperture look. Skyrule is very talented at Hammer, obviously. And uh, I'm guessing Tio is because... Well, Tio is very talented when it comes to the puzzles because his, uh, well, his maps are so highly rated when you look on the Steam Workshop. Yeah, I want to get up there. Uh, let's start trying to do that then before I talk too much and waste too much time. You will open this up for me. Is there any panels in here I could get a cube from? Uh, well, we could have one there. And I was about to say one under there and get it, but that's just going to push it back the other way. So, no, that doesn't work. We could probably use that conveyance beam to send it in here, though. If I have one on you, and again, remember that it's this. So that turns it off. Uh, I'd have one there and one there. But as long as that cube is there, we cannot actually use the conveyance beam. 
so let's place you just off the side. As long as you line up with one of those, it should be alright. Stand on you. And I can get you to send me that cube, yeah? Uh, so we got the push blue conveyance beam to deliver me a cube. Uh, you can... let go. You can sit on there for the moment. And then... We could put the blue up there. Up there. And then chuck the cube into the conveyance beam. That will go press the button. That should press the button, but as soon as I get out of here it's going to fall, right? So that is the elevator. But uh, there's no way for me to be on there when you do that. So we'd have to already be out here. That does work for getting the cube in there though. So how would you go about doing that then? I obviously want it in there. Let's bring it back in here again. Let's put you and you and you deliver me that cube again. Grab you. Uh, you just sit on there for a moment and keep that open. So how could I get that to do both? You can turn it on and off with this. Is there anywhere I can push it from? That wouldn't work anyway because as soon as that cube moves off of that button we're not going to have a way of shooting a portal in there. Um, You turn you off, right? So if, um, let's move you and reset the portals. If you were waiting in here for me, pinned down like that, you're pinned down there waiting, and I'm stood here, can't actually see anywhere to send that from the other side. You could send it back into its little cage, but that won't work. Uh, if it was... Let's get a new cube. You'll drop a new one into there. you got a slight delay, so that might actually be quite handy. Let's put... One under you there. Uh, that would just drop, that, so that's no good. That turns the conveyance beam off, but I can't do it whilst in here. That's gotten rid of that portal, so that doesn't work, but I can do it here. And there. That will push the cube up in there for me. But you're going to get rid of my portals again, yeah. But I could make you drop. If that was off, it would drop and like launch back upward. Which might give me enough time to get out here and place it there. Okay, how do you do that then? Um... Let's see if there's any possibility of being fast enough to do this. I'm guessing it's not right, but it's the first thing I've thought of, so it's the first thing I'm going to try. Like that, you're going to go pin that to the ceiling. And I get off of here. Then what would we want to move? We'd want to move... Uh, what's under there? Blue. So if I get out there quickly and I put orange... And yeah, there's no way that's anywhere near good enough. So it's going to have to be off already for me to be in there. So I've got to get it back out here to sit on here again. You come there, you go there, deliver me that cube. And then go sit this back on that button and um, I'll turn the conveyance beam off. I can respawn it, can I? So yeah, that would get you off of the button because I could respawn you there. So let's um, try that. That's not high enough to... No, it's going to be in here. Okay, it's going to be in here first. Um, that's not needed where it is. I actually need it over a bit so I can get it in here. One on there. One on there. Deliver me that cube. Bring me that cube. Thank you. And then you sit there to hold that open then if I was to put you uh, put the blue up on that one I could go in there and chuck that through but then I can't get back out
Let's uh, turn... Okay, never mind. I do need a new one anyway. Are you going to automatic? No, you are a manual respawning kind of cube. So if I get you out here again... Something tells me I'm going to be repeating myself quite a bit in here. Alright, so if I get you back out here and I get you to turn off the conveyance beam... Turn off the conveyance beam. Then I'm in here, portals go away. Then I have... One under you there. We respawn that cube. And give me a new one, and I pin you to the ceiling there. Ah, that's the same thing though, isn't it? So I won't be able to get back in time. I've got to bring it in here and have it do this button for me. Yeah, that makes more sense. Alright, uh, let's get that cube out of there again. For a fun drinking game, count how many times I repeat the same steps. Grab that, let's get you to... I don't really need you to do that button at the moment though, do I? I need you to be there. I need to be here. We need to bring that cube into here. That will keep this button held down so that I don't have to worry about the fizzler. Uh, grab you and stick you there. Then if we leave blue there... Wait, I can't get out there to respawn that though, can I? Wait, how would you do that then? Because I can't get back out here, so I have to respawn it from in there. I can't go through there because of the lasers, unless it was already out there, like there. That must be what those panels are for. Then I can go through there without dying. We can get a new cube now. Which will be in that little compartment on the side again. Let me let me out. Uh, let's send you... What's where? Orange is that one. So let's send you up. That will pin you to the ceiling. Then if I stand on you, you're going to like drop and do the repeated drop thing, right? Yes. Alright, I'm going to pin you to the ceiling again. And then I'm going to get on the button, make you drop, and hopefully land... What would it be? It'd be the orange up there so the conveyance beam will bring it through. Probably drop by now. Orange, orange, orange. And I'm I'm still stood on the button. That's stupid. Okay, I need to get off the button when I do that. That that makes a lot more sense. So, do all that part again. Yeah, we've got to respawn this cube from inside this room. First, we need one of them in here. Bring that to me again. Stupid! Uh, means i got to get it out of there again. Okay, you. I need you out of here. Uh, get you to sit by the button. Do the same thing again, but without screwing up and getting off of the button before it's actually in here. You. And uh, you. Bring that to me. Don't get off until it's actually in here this time. Right, yeah, i got you now. You sit there. Then orange can go out, well, anywhere out there. We get a new cube. Fizzler's back up. I pop out this side. Then you're waiting for me there, so let's, uh, orange, yeah, orange. Pin you to the ceiling. And remember, this time, I've got to get off of... Off of the, uh, the button. So... How long does it take to drop? Not long, right? Orange, orange, get off. There, there it is. And elevator. This should take me up, right? Nice. Alright, next part. We've got a panel behind a grill, so I can't just pop back. Got a panel here and there. Rather wrecked con uh, observation room. Yeah, so we're going to have to hit that to be able to get through. That's going to open the door up. And uh, even the cameras don't care about me in this one. Okay, so, obviously the cube has got to go directly up, so you've got to have a conveyance beam. 
if I move the conveyance beam now, I could put orange on you, and that would be the conveyance beam up, but then I'd be stuck in that room with no way to get up, and I actually wouldn't be able to get in there because, well, for one, the conveyance beam will stop me going in there, as a fizzler anyway, so that's useless. Um, I must be a lot skinnier than I thought I was. Okay, I just uh, fell through the elevator somehow. Crap, that means I've got to do all that again. Alright, uh, drop that. Drop that. Okay, you're still doing that. Not necessary. You've got to go do this part again. you got to do that part again for me. I go in here. Convince beams go away. You. And you. Bring that in here actually in here good on that then orange out there uh, new cube before I go through right it should be waiting for me in this side room again so let's send it upwards line up with the button right do this part again so on there do that and get off of there cube Damn you! Okay, go up. Yeah, my, my timing sucks. Especially when I can't see the thing I'm timing, so off. On there. On there. I've completely missed. Yes, I have. So it's still pinned to the ceiling. Alright, turn you off. That on there. And new cube. No, I just heard it land by me. Into the ceiling. Zoom in. Orange, get off. Cube. Yes, there's a cube. Get on the elevator. Try not to stand wherever it is I fell through. Where did I fall through? That's kind of weird. I fell through there somehow. Um, I know we're that skinny little 2D bendy guy, but come on. Uh, right. What are, what are we doing? we got to press this button on the ceiling now. Uh, i got to get that cube to me. Again, somehow. The cube's got to be up here. And I've got to be up here. And the conveyance beam's got to be up here. I need the conveyance beam. I can't go through there without turning it off. So we would have to... Could I send the... No, don't stand on there. Could I send the cube in there? No, because Fizzler will destroy it. I can turn that off. Yeah, I got an idea. Okay, we're going to try and turn the fizzler, not the fizzler, we're going to try and turn the conveyance beam off using a, well, what's going to be a really awkward set of conveyance beam maneuvers. Um, Alright, so if I move orange, what lines up with the button first? And can I actually see in there? like that panel there and can I see that from here yeah because this elevator will get out my way okay so drop you no 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 not quite there bit better more like that yeah then I think it's this one uh, yeah and then drop it damn that was close and crap that means I gotta do the whole thing around again Okay, but that is how I'm going to try and do this, so this bit. If you were playing that drinking game, you'd probably be a bit drunk already, especially if you're doing shots. Hey, okay, give me that. You sit on here. Orange, anywhere out there. A uh, new cube. Then it should be waiting in the side here again send you up and we're going to do this part again yeah you're up on the ceiling you are up on the ceiling up there where is it oh it's still there you've got to be zoomed in to do this where's that button there it is 
Orange, orange. And yeah, there it is. Get on the elevator. Right, from here, we're going to drop you and bring you along. That goes down, then it's this one, right? Come along. There. There. You dick cube. You're a dick cube. You know that? You're a dick. Is there a better way to do this? Because that seems kind of an awkward, awkward way of doing it. But I don't know any other way. And I suppose that is a kind of portly thing to do. Uh, orange out here. We got to do that bit again. So sorry about the repetitions, but please do enjoy your vodka. You know, responsibly. Right, send you up again. It's probably going to take me quite a few goes to get this right, isn't it? Orange cube. Cube, cube, elevator. Do it, do it, thank you. I know I could quick save up here, but I actually had some really good uh, feedback lately about not overusing quick save and when it is sort of acceptable and when it's not. Basically, if I keep dying to the same thing a hundred times, then I can quick save. But if not, uh, if it's a skill kind of thing that I'm messing up, I should probably just learn to do it properly. Damn you, it needs to be like an inch more that way. And in you come. Grab you upon the button. No, upon the button. We're having enough trouble getting you on buttons as it is. You go out there. New cube. Uh, take me through. Do the thing again. Don't know what to call it, but you know what I mean. Send you up. You up. You up. Cube. You're in there. Kind of wish this button was like here. Uh, yeah, this is the only way to do it. Cube, 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 cube. Oh, you asshole! Why are you still there? I've got to let you drop a bit first, don't I? Okay. On there. That should be enough time. Cube. Yeah, it should be that. There it is. Okay, bring you along. And this time, we're gonna be like an inch more this way. About there. That line looks good to me. As long as I do it right. There. Then there. Holy crap. I actually managed to do that. Okay, um... Right, that's that part. Now we need the cube and the conveyance beam in here. I can do that from in there. If I leave blue in there... Yeah, if blue doesn't move... Let's uh, go... Orange on you, which lets me get in here. Then... I can move... Blue now? Yeah, because we can respawn the cube, right? So... This will turn the conveyance beam... ...back on. I'm stood on here. Orange is still up there. Cube in there. Blue, that cube should now be up there. Waiting for me. Blue goes there. Then, that should take me back up here. It does. There's my cube. Let me have that cube. Place you on there. Then orange should take you up. And press the button. Awesome. Good work getting this far, future Thank you. starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please Probably return shouldn't. to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Uh, that's that's really harsh. Okay, uh, this is the second of the two of an R two for one special. This is Destination, also by Tio. Uh, it features, well, tubes, of course, laser reception, lasers through portals, light bridges, the death in the deadly, deadly goo, laser refraction, and the placing of cubes upon those buttons. 
this is actually the funny part that I need to tell you. Uh, Tio, no, hold on. Skyrule, there's a laser immediately. Skyrule sent me this two for one map pretty much the day after Tio sent me this original puzzle destination. So some people might call that a coincidence. I just think it's kind of amusing. Uh, what have we got then? We've got this room here. It's got a button. The button is... looks like half of this fizzler. The other half appears to be a laser receptor. We've got a bunch of panels on the wall in here. we got another camera that's doing its best to ignore me. All right, fizzler. Do I need... Nah, it doesn't matter. We've got deadly deadly goo, but a catwalk. We've got the particularly rusty deadly deadly goo. There's a light bridge. There's our exit. Immediately I'm thinking light bridge straight across to the exit. But of course, it's not going to be that simple and... Well, judging by that last puzzle, it's it's probably going to be considerably harder. So this is probably quite a long video. The laser receptor here connects to our tube of deliverance. Does that mean I can get it from here? Alright, that gives me a laser thingy. Laser reflection cube. Uh, I can... can I get over there? If you had that, and you had that, that gives me a light bridge. And we can move the orange to that one. Now that'll let me get over to that corner. And then we got to work out what we need to do next. Obviously we're going to need this. Yeah, this cube is going to have to do that in there. Which is the other side of the... Yeah, is the other half of the Fizzler. But I'm going to have to be in there as well. Uh, let's move orange back there. That'll let me get back over here. I'm not using any portals other than the bridge, so don't worry about that. If I'm on here, Fizzler goes away, right? Yes. So can I just go get that cube? And bring it in here. But now that I think about that, that's useless because you have to have both things at once. Somehow the laser's got to be in here, and the cube's got to be in here, and I've got to be able to get to a point where I can uh, move the light bridge to get over to that exit. That's made everything a lot more com uh, a lot more confusing than I was just thinking about. I don't know why my brain just went to say comfortable. There's nothing comfortable about that. Okay, so that doesn't work. Can I get the laser in here somehow? Any of those panels line up with laser into here? They don't, do they? They only line up just outside. I could... If we had, like, blue there, I can get it in that way. But I'd have to be over there to do that. For me to be over there, I've got to move one of the portals. So that doesn't work. Is there any way I can do that from that side? Like if I went over there now... Okay, that burns. Uh, if I went over here... And we moved orange to there... Yeah, they don't actually go in there. Uh, you'll give me my cube back here though, right? Okay. So that doesn't help. Um, stop that. I do need to be able to get the cube that side. Cube's got to be this side because it's the only place it can line up with that one laser receptor. In there. Let's put you back a bit again. Let's put orange there. Then... If I have orange... Here will let me be that side. I'd like it a bit closer. Like that. But then I'm going to lose my portals if I go in there. There's no way to have a portal in there and one out here at the same time. Which means the cube and the laser have to be in there already. 
So it's got to come from behind, right? So that panel there. So I need the cube in there and the laser in there. I don't know how to do that right now. Um, I can respawn the cube if needed. Uh, I don't even know what to try now, actually. How can I get you and the laser in there? The laser goes to that one over there. I need it to be from behind. I can open up the fizzler myself here. But I can't get to the light bridge from here. But we could do... Blue... There. Actually, it'd be that one looking at it, wouldn't it? Because the lights... Yeah, there's good ha hammer map work and map design. And puzzle design, of course, that says... Those lights should be the ones that line the panels up for me. And... Oh! There's another bit of a Kerbal Space Program. Again, don't know what they are. Uh... So, if orange was out, like, well, there, I'd let me get over there, and then I'm where the cube drops, but I can't destroy the cube from here. I suppose if you were already pointing there, I'd get a continual drop of... Let's try that. If I point that cube at that, I should get a continual drop of the laser reflector cube. I believe. So, blue over there for the moment. And we point you there. Ah, of course, no, that, that doesn't work. That doesn't even slightly work. So I need a way to destroy that cube as well. Um, blue there. And you do that. That panel is the one I'm going to need the light bridge from. Like, if you had... You had blue. That's going to let me get back in there. But then I can't go through there because that's going to turn everything off. So I need a way to destroy... that cube. No, I need a way to get that cube in here. Uh, that does nothing right now. No, does nothing right now. Um, and that's no good either because I can't get back up there now. Crap. Uh, okay, never mind. I've got to reset pretty much everything. I want to go over again. So let's put uh, one on you. And I can probably make that jump. Yes. Alright, then I want to take you over again, I believe. Not like that. What did I need you in there? No, I've got to have it out here first. It's got to do the thing. You've got to be, like, here somewhere. Then let's have... Blue there. So I get a light bridge. I could drop the cube if needed. Because I could have it on the light bridge. How far this way could it still see the thing? Quite far, so it could almost be in the middle. But if it's in the middle, I've got no way to get to it. That don't work. Uh, let's put you back there. That's one over. So if I had the light bridge coming out of there, how can I do that, though? By going back round. Okay, uh, leave everything as it is. Let's put orange, no, let's put blue there because it's the button I clicked. Let's put orange over there. Then if I put orange there, that gives me the conveyance beam from in there. Then let's have the cube. Don't do that. Don't burn yourself. Let's have the cube on it, like there. Oh, don't, come on, line up, line up, like there. Then I can get in there with the light bridge and you. If I move the light bridge to the middle, I lose the cube, though.
I have to get the cube, a new cube from that side. I have an idea. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to try it. Again, doesn't work. Forgot. Can't do that. Okay, I need to do this part again. Uh, there's no way I can get out there without losing the... Yes, there is. Let's put that. No, stupid. Lost the cube. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, we need to go back over there anyway. And do that from here. I want to go over that side. Interesting. Uh, that's going to burn me, though, so let's put it over there. I just had a flashback, or well, a flash forward, actually, of it burning me clean off of the bridge. So this is the side with that. Yeah, so I need orange there and blue there to get a new cube. Give me that. Thank you. Damn it. Give me that, and let's not do that again. Then the cube's got to be over there. That's an interesting angle, but the receptor's the other side. Still work over there, though. Over here, you could still get there. No, that, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, I like you here, though. And I like that there. And that there. Let me go over that side. Let's get a portal in this little room again. Little room, starter room, whatever you want to call it. The button room, that's a good name. Uh, yeah, so let's have a portals in here again. With... I want to get... Out there again. From that one there looks good, because it's right over here. Actually, more middle would be better. So you go like that again. Then blue would go there. I can take you off of there. And I can get you to hover on the bridge here, right? I think I have an idea and I don't really know how to explain it. So I'm just going to have to try it. Then if I go over here... Yeah, and I use that catwalk over there to come over to this side. No, because me trying to walk there would kill me. Although, I could go that way in, through there and out there, but then, yeah, that's going to drop that. But what I was actually thinking was if I line this up right, and I'm lucky about it, it should work, right? You should go... There. The cube is still in place. Yeah, that looks good, okay. Cube is still in place, hovering there. It's still doing half of there. I haven't got a way in there now, though. Um, I'd actually have to be in there. I would have had to have been in there already. Crap. Can I save this now? Yeah, I can. Um, just about. It's still a bunch of steps, but it's slightly less. So I'm going to set this up again, but i got to be in that room. So bring you back over this side. Stick you there. Orange on you. You go do that again. Then back into the button room. Uh, yeah, turn off those. We have one of you there. One of you there. Then I can go out here. And I can put that there. Which will let me get back over there. But it won't... No, wait. I need to do it from inside. So as long as... You, that was very close to goop. So orange, you stay there for the moment. I go on here. Is this what I want to do? No, it's got to be on the bridge. Crap. Okay, uh, and that stops me from doing that part. Damn it. Let's uh, go blue over there. Still got orange here. 
then blue there again. And I forgot I need to move you out over the goo. Like that. Onto there. Good, good. Then I go back this way to the button room. I stand upon button. Then blue has to stay there. Orange can go there. Cube is still all in place. Right? Now, if I get rid of... If I move blue, the cube will drop. And the laser will be coming out of here. Is that what I want? I'm just going to have to try it anyway. Uh, no, we could get a new cube over there waiting for us. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, so it should be that one because of the light design. So... Blue, new laser, new cube, new cube. Will you please land somewhere where you don't keep destroying yourself? Please? Although I could just go grab it whilst it's doing it. Yeah, let's go grab it whilst it's doing it, or... No, I can't. Uh... Oh, it did it anyway. Okay, let's leave blue exactly where it is. No, let's leave... Yes, let's leave blue where it is and put orange there. Nice and lined up in the middle. This gets me the cube in there. That gets me the cube in here, and I'm going to put the cube preemptively facing there. Preemptively facing the receptor thing. Then, if I leave orange in here and we put blue there. Yeah, nice, okay. Right, then, how do we make use of that any further? I can now get the light bridge. Uh, yeah, okay, that works. No, that works really well, actually, because we can leave the l orange there. And if I come over here and I put blue there... Light bridge! Oh, that's awesome. That's fucking clever design as well. Uh, I believe this is only two chambers. I was told this is a two-for-one and not a three-for-one. So is this actually the exit? Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances it is. may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. That's good to know, so I get to hang out with Space Core for the rest of my life. Fantastic, although he is my favourite core. Uh, let's get somewhere a little bit safer. So yeah, that was Homage Tio by Skyrule. First of all, featuring Cerulean by Tio. And second of all, featuring Destination, also, of course, by Tio. Big thank you to the both of them. Thank you for both submitting the same chamber at pretty much the same time as well. That That's amusing to me, and it did give me a little chuckle that time. Uh, yeah, these are really good puzzles. They look great with the very dirty goo. I mean, that one looks like the one you can practically smell, right? Yeah, that's cool. That, uh, I enjoyed that one a lot, actually, and they look great, and those were very clever and enjoyable puzzles. This has been a pretty long video again, so I apologise for that. If you would like to submit a test chamber for me to try and complete, and I promise I'll try and be a bit quicker about it, but that's not really how my brain works, please follow the link in the description, and by now you probably know the drill. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, thank you very much for watching, so long, and thanks for all the fish.